Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another little Sparky Art tutorial for you today and I hope you really like this one because I think it's super cute. As you can see from the title, today I'm gonna teach you how you can create beautiful glittery rainbow tears or sparkling freckles effect or any type of facials, rainbowy glittery decorations that you want to make. So uh, let's jump right into it and let's see how you can create this gorgeous filter effect. As you can guess, we need to work a little bit with Photoshop in this project, so just open your editing software and import your face asset into it to have a referment point and start by creating a new layer. From here we're gonna uh, pick our brush tool and uh, we need a quite precise uh, type of brush and not ultra soft and then select your white color. So we can start drawing on top of our face asset our tears shapes and just freestyle your tears in any way you want. You can take as long or as little as you want for this step. I'm a quite um, OCD person so I usually take very long for this uh, uh, mask creation because I like to be ultra precise but it's not that hard and you don't have to really be extra anal about this because you know this kind of effect looks gorgeous no matter what because then uh, the glitter texture is gonna blend beautifully on your face so just do your best to achieve something that you are happy with as you can see I freestyle two totally different type of um, tear drops you know in the right eyes and the left eyes because I kind of want to test myself and see which one end up looking better. And then once I select the one that I like the most I just duplicate my layer and flip it horizontally so then I can have a perfectly symmetrical tears effect in both eyes you could actually purposely keep them different and probably they would look even cooler and more natural but you know for the sake of this video and to keep it as simple as possible I'm making my symmetrical then of course you have to merge your layers remove any background and just save it as PNG and then this is the step that I do a little different from anyone else because I think this is the easiest way to uh, create this effect especially for absolute beginners you know I don't want to drive you crazy with uh, too much technicality in Photoshop so I've prepared for you a beautiful rainbow texture file and this will make your life so much easier to achieve a beautiful glittery rainbow effect by cutting so many extra steps and making it super easy for you sort of a shortcut so just import your glitter texture inside your Photoshop and then you just want to you know overlap this rainbow texture on top of your tears mask and the secret here is if you leave your glitter texture just as big as your whole layer you will end up having not many colors per each tears while instead my goal is to include all the colors of the rainbow that you can see in my glitter texture per each tier so the only way to achieve that is to reduce the size of your glitter texture in a way that you can literally fit all the colors of your rainbow texture on each teardrops just like that and you are gonna duplicate this same texture and reposition it on the other eyes so you will end up with two beautiful rainbow tears including all the colors of the rainbow so once you did that always remember to merge your layers and then make sure you reposition your rainbow texture layer on top of your tears mask and just create a clipping mask and voila this is how you create a beautiful rainbow glittery tears png file if you want to experiment since you are already into Photoshop, I would suggest you to just, you know, have fun and maybe create another couple different masks for you to play with. So here I'm just using the uh, Shaper tool that every Photoshop version has in it. And 
and you can select any shape you like you can literally use hearts stars uh, flowers butterflies wherever you want i'm gonna use stars just you know for demonstrational purposes and just start drawing a different mask for your face randomly placing them as if they were freckles so mostly on the cheekbones area or if you like also over the bridge of your nose whatever you prefer just repeat the same process we follow for our tears and create your clippy mask by using your glitter texture and there you go you have two beautiful glittery rainbow mask ready to be used and inserted in your sparky R filter then from here of course just open a new project add a face mesh and this is a shortcut that will automatically include you even a face tracker then of course create your material for your face mesh you can call this one tears Let's call even um, our face mesh with the same name because later on we will add even our stars so we don't get confused. Then by selecting your tiers material, go on your inspector panel and uh, change the shader type from standard to physically based. And this automatically give us a lot more options in terms of controlling the metallic effect, the roughness and the occlusion. Then on your albedo, you want to select your texture. So we want to import our beautiful Rainbow of Tears mask that we just create on Photoshop. And as you can see, you end up with this kind of glossy Rainbow of Tears. So first things we want to do is to maximize our metallic effect and bring the roughness medium level as well then you want to check the normal options and on texture you want to import your glitter texture which i'm going to include down below as well And as you can see, your tears looks much more glittery, but they are quite dark. So from this stage, we want to go a bit downward and check the environment box. And on the texture, we want to import from um, ER library. So click search library, the sunset texture, import free. And voila, we already brighten up our beautiful glittery tears a lot. So if you play with the rotation, let's stop her motion. You can see that you can kind of control the environment light. But we want to adjust the roughness a little bit. And also I want to bring forward a bit more the pink of my rainbow of tears so i'm gonna go back to albedo and click my um, color square and then i'm gonna select a pinkish not too dark quite pastel pink you can see on the square down here which type of color i'm using but you can see by adding a little pink hue you can make your tears more rainbowish with uh, more pink in it and i like it more see the difference just like so okay and you can check this on different subjects So just to give you a better understanding of the power of your environment texture, let's try to change texture and we go into the AR library. And we are using the sunset right now, but let's for instance swipe it with the, the studio texture. And voila, you have black glittery tears. 
So this is just to give you a better sense of how much you can create just by tweaking things here and there. And literally there's so many possibilities. It's all about your own creativity. And this is how you create gorgeous rainbow tears effect that perfectly follow your face movements. Now we can apply the exact same technique with our stars, just add a new face mesh and repeat the exact same process. Okay, so at this stage, one extra things we can do just to give that extra va va voom to our glitter filter effect is to add some rotating lights so that the light can hit on our glitter texture and create that extra sparkliness just to make stand out even further our effect. So each project you start come by default with an ambient light and a directional light. So you can add as many lights as you want and there are three different types. So you have a directional light, environment light, point light and spotlight. We're gonna work with directional light so you can add one or two. So let's call this one left light. Let's add just one more. Always rename your uh, layers or your assets, texture, everything you have just to make very easy for you to navigate all over your project just in case you need to adjust something or reopen it, you know, later on. So now that we have our two lights, let me show you how they look. So as you can see, you have your two lights right here. The left light is highlighted and we can reposition it a bit better. So always use your um, tools right here to reposition. And then you do the same with your right light. Okay, once you have your two lights well positioned, go on view and show patch editor and search for the loop animation patch. Then click and drag and look for transition. Um, you want to readjust the values on the end section, so you want to put 360 on X and 360 on Y. Then you want to go on your, um, make sure your light color is white. You can change the light color by clicking on the little square right here and then of course you pick a color light you want but in our case we already have a lot of colors on our rainbow tears so we need just a bright white light and keep it very simple and you can also adjust the intensity of your light with the sliders right here so let's keep it as bright as possible of course and then select left light and show rotation so you will have your rotation patch and do the same with the right light. Voila. And then you just connect these two. And as you can see, your left light is rotating. Let's change um, model. And you can see the effect that is creating on our rainbow tears, you know. The rotation of the light hit the glitters and makes them extra sparkly and of course we want to do the same with the right light so now you have both light rotating see a small little adjustment can make a huge difference on your filter effect so that's why it's important for you to learn as much as possible of these little tricks and if you keep following my tutorials, I will show you as many as possible. So subscribe if you didn't yet. Now, one thing you can do is to control the um, speed of your rotation. So that's another extra things you can have control over. See, you have the duration here is set at one second. You can make it slower by 
you know, changing to three seconds. Or you can make even more slow. It's up to your preferences. I think three seconds is quite good. I think this effect is super cute and it will make easily stand out any filter that you want to create. You can apply it in so many different shapes and forms. Literally sky is the limit. Just remember that in these kind of things, the secret is to stand out and don't be an absolute copycat. So try to absorb this technique and put your own unique twist on it. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have so much fun filming it for you. If you enjoy watching it and you want to see more tutorials from me, just click the like button, subscribe, and I see you in my next video. Bye guys!